Hello and welcome to Top Trend Analysis. Today we are going to talk about the Battle of Anarva. Unearthing the significance of the forgotten battle. Introduction Nestled in the annals of Scottish history lies a tale often overshadowed by more prominent conflicts, the Battle of Annan. Yet, its significance in shaping the destiny of Scotland and its people is profound. As we peel back the layers of time, we uncover a narrative that in intervenes weather, strategy and the pearls of a nation striving for sovereignty. The year was 1333, a period where the tides of power clashed between Scotland and England in their relentless pursuit of dominance. The stage was set near the town of Annan, a serene local that would soon be etched in the tumultuous history of these lands. King Edward III of England, emboldened by past victories, sought to further solidify England, English control over Scotland. Key players and motivations. On one side stood Sir Archibald Douglas, the valiant Scottish knight, leading the forces in the name of David II, the youthful monarch of Scotland. Their motivation was clear to defend their homeland from the encroaching English invasion and preserve Scotland's autonomy. Opposing them was Sir Thomas de Lucy, a seasoned English commander tasked with enforcing the will of Edward III and extending English domination northward, the unfolding conflict. As dawn broke on the fateful day of September 16th, the tranquility of Annan was shattered by the clash of arms. The Scottish and English forces met on the field, the air thick with the fervour of patriotism and the tension of impending conflict. The clash was fierce and unyielding, each side vying for supremacy with the fervour that echoed the fervent desire of their sovereigns. The Scottish infantry, bolstered by their courage and unwavering loyalty, surged forward their battle cry is echoing across the landscape. The English cavalry, formidable in their training and discipline, responded with precision, seeking to break the Scottish ranks and assert dominance. Pivotal moments and tactical brilliance. In the heart of this chaos, moments of brilliance and strategic acumen emerged. Sir Archibald Douglas, a beacon of leadership, rallied his men with unwavering resolve and employing tactical maneuvers that tested the mettle of English forces. The ebb and flow of battle saw the pendulum swing, each side claiming ground and suffering losses in their quest for supremacy. The Scottish pikemen, renowned for their steadfastness, formed a resilient bulwark against the onslaught of the English cavalry. Meanwhile, English archers unleashed valleys of arrows aiming to disrupt the Scottish formations and saw chaos amidst their ranks, the aftermath. As the sun descended beyond the horizon, the field of Annan bore witness to the toll of conflict. Both sides had paid a heavy price in bloodshed and sacrifice. The outcome, while contested, bore the markings of 
stalemate, a testament to the unwavering resilience of both Scottish and English forces. Legacy and Impact While the Battle of Arden may not have yielded a decisive victor, its legacy reverberated through the corridors of power in Scotland and England. It served as a testament to the indomitable spirit of the Scottish people, instilling a sense of pride and resilience that would echo through the ages. Moreover, the battle underscored the intricate balance of power dynamics in medieval Europe, showcasing the complexities of warfare and diplomacy in an era marked by the territorial ambitions and shifting allegiances. The Battle of Annan took place near the town of Annan in Dumfries and Galloway, Scotland, on September 16, 1333. It was a significant conflict during the Second War of Scottish independence between Scotland and England. In terms of the number of combatants and casualties, historical records from medieval battles often vary and precise figures may not be available. The estimates of the number of soldiers involved and casualties of the Battle of Annan aren't well documented. However, it is believed that there were several thousand soldiers on each side. As for the casualties, where there is no exact count, battles during this period were typically brutal and resulted in significant loss of life. The Battle of Annan would have seen a considerable number of soldiers killed, wounded or captured on both the Scottish and English sides. The Battle of Annan didn't have a clear victor in the traditional sense. It ended inconclusively without a decisive outcome favoring either the Scottish or English forces. As a result, neither side could claim on an outward victory. Regarding the occupation of the land era, following the battle there wasn't a significant change in the territorial control immediately after the conflict. The area remained part of the ongoing contested borderlands between Scotland and England. Both sides continued their attempts to assert control and influence over these border regions in the subsequent years of conflict and negotiation during the wars of Scottish independence. Conclusion The echoes of the Battle of Annan may have faded with time with its significance remains itched in the annals of Scottish history. It stands as a poignant reminder of the sacrifices made by those who fought to safeguard Scotland's sonorous sovereignty, a testament to the enduring spirit of a nation. As we reflect on this oft-forgotten chapter, we are reminded that history is not merely a series of events, but a tapestry woven from the valor, aspirations and struggles of those who came before us. Annan with its tales of bravery and resilience continues to be a beacon that illuminates the path of Scotland's storied past. In the grand mosaic of Scottish history, the Battle of Annan remains an indelible breaststroke, a testament to the resilience of a nation and the valor of its people in the face of adversity.